All right, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to another Call of Duty Mobile video. I'm currently streaming. I tested a lot of guns, but we didn't actually really get to test. We did play on Rust, so I'll probably show you guys footage of the Rust gameplay that I did. Probably with the, um, I'm gonna say the UL, because probably the gun that I really like a lot. So what we're gonna be doing today is basically just going to custom games with my viewers and just kind of test some of the guns I really, really want to use. We're gonna jump into the customs in a second, but let me show you guys some of the cool new things that came out. So first of all, we have the event page, which is really nice. We have the features. So if you play Rust, you'll be able to unlock an M4 skin, which is okay, I guess. The ability is a speed boost. If you're free to play, maybe grind it out. But Rust map, pretty nice, <laughs> not gonna lie. Uh, daily, this is pretty cool. So if you sign up two, three, four, five, whatever, nothing really amazing at first. All right, you get an RUS skin, you get a uh, M4 LMG. Nobody ain't trying to use that, right? Let's be honest. But once you hit to the 24 day mark, you get a free skin. Not really the nicest skin. Maybe a maybe kind of cool if you're playing on Battle Royale, because you know you kind of blend in. Not as much as the Mantis though, right? Not as much as the Mantis. That kind of stuttered there. But it's free. So if you're a free-to-play player, you should be happy to see that. I actually didn't see what else you can get further down the line. Doesn't look like there's gonna be anything crazy. So yeah, nothing crazy. And then daily missions, if you stay on, you'll just get free uh CP and stuff. So we actually get more stuff. Invitation codes! Oh, what do you get from this? M16, AK117, that's actually pretty good. And you get an Arctic. It's like they give us so many Arctic. If you guys wanna use my code, um, LFMWVE. If you guys have a new account, but it doesn't really matter because all you guys already play. And once upon a time in Rust, doesn't really matter. And this is kind of stupid. They usually give us something cool, but, um, it's literally not really good. I, I actually, I'll type it in the chat if you guys want to see what my code is. Let me type it real quick. L F M W V E. Here you go. That's my code. If you guys want to use it, Mantis pay to win. Agreed. Uh, again, only three five hundred C C not even CP credits. They usually gave a lot more. Like I think last time they gave like a gun skin. I think it was the BK uh, Evil Chip skin. And at the time before that, they gave you a free our outfit. So I'm kind of questioning that would have no new battle pass yet um it will be coming out on the first and then if we actually check uh where is the there used to be like a, a event page you can put and obviously rest came out but you guys i'll show you guys some gameplay of that just one thing that kind of pissed me off if you guys are really into custom games you notice that they took out free for all and gun game why would you guys take off free for all and gun game from custom games like what i don't understand why would you do that it just kind of pissed me off because literally what I do is custom games and there's no gun game or custom any other modes, right? There's no 2v2 gun games, there's no nothing, unless I'm crazy. Honestly, I really don't hope this is in rank because it's probably gonna be the most annoying rank mode ever. Domination. It's so hard. So we're gonna start off with the UL. Rest, first of all, looks absolutely amazing. Um, second of all, actually, we're gonna talk about something in, in a second, all right? So we see where they are, okay, so don't move there. All right, look, look at the UL, all right? So UL from here, um, it doesn't have much recoil. Okay, so I see main there. I'm gonna shoot from far. So this is pretty much spawn spawn to B, all right? So this that's Ulysses. Okay, I'm gonna shoot main, all right? So one, two, three, four. 25 damage from there. How about here? Let me just uh, headshot this guy. What? Looks like a one multiplier. Okay, it didn't actually kill him. I'll let it heal back. So from here, okay. Read truth right here. I'm gonna shoot him. He's gonna die probably in four, four kills. So it's four kills no matter how far, but this is the important part, all right? Uh, Ulysses, I need you to like, kind of like move left, right. Run, run from, yeah. Wait, yeah, move, move left, right, all right? Now watch, I'm gonna try to see if I can kill him. That recoil is like so crazy. It's like so insane. It's insanely good if there's anything we're gonna talk about. Look, look how crazy this is, all right? All right, you guys just stay back there. I'm gonna see how f how far I can go to shoot you guys. All right, uh, who's that? A uh, retrus, take a step back. All right, perfect. So I am pretty far. Like, let me see if I can laser three of you guys. All right, so we're gonna slide in. We're gonna see them. We go, bruh, bruh. When you don't potato, that basically killed them in like ten shots. That was kind of insane. All right, now that's a UL. Obviously, we're gonna have to test it in ranked game because no one's ever gonna be moving. This is the important one. Okay, so first of all, let's see how many from close range. So don't move main. All right, 
So I'm literally standing in front of you. I think it's going to take four shots. One, two, three. Oh, that's a five shot kill. That's kind of awkward. But, all right. Reach through stand still. I'm going to let you regen first. Headshot though. One, two, three. Three. So damage didn't really get increased that much. Kind of feels bad. If I get a headshot, it's still a three tap. Three and a half, four, four tap. But this is the best part. All right, I'm gonna let you heal back. Look how fast it takes to shoot, to kill him. So if I just go like this and then use fire so fast. Okay, I'm gonna go to like a medium range kind of thing. The damage doesn't seem to be too buff. I'm gonna let him heal a bit. I feel like we're gonna have to wait for Hawk's Nest. So HVK looks nice. The, the recoil itself is pretty good. All right, I need two teammates next to each other that I know. Uh, that is Retrues. Where are you guys? All right, cool. I'm gonna shock RC. Okay, so I'm gonna shock RC you guys. It should be able to get both of them. Move forward, quick, quick, move forward, move forward. See, yeah, there you go. It does shock to a person. And so if you move up to it, if you see a shock RC, don't move towards it. All right, we're gonna switch guns real quick. So the next gun that we want to try is the HBR. The HBR uh, did get nerfed, but it's still pretty good. So if you guys look here, look at this recoil without. It has a pretty wonky like S kind of thing, but it's still pretty fast rate of fire. It's a four four tap, which is good, even from far. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's six though, not as good as the HVK, but it does have decent range. Medium is, it's one, two, three, four. Four taps, so medium is pretty decent. I actually stay there. I'm just gonna move a little bit further. It doesn't have a great headshot. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, so five. So the HVK does a little bit better than the medium one. Uh, short range, I thought it would do better. It, it does have a fight rate of fire, but it got nerfed a bit, but obviously it's still, I think still pretty viable. Nerf is not as crazy as you think. Like first few shots is pretty insane. Look, I'm gonna try to control it this time. Like, I'm controlling it, but after that, it's it's kind of hard. After those first few shots. So that's, that's very similar to, like, the KN. I don't have the KN right now. But uh, we're going to show you guys the Mana War, which apparently got buffed a bit. It's still going to be a 3-tap, because that's how it is. It's 34 damage, but it's the range that it's important. Let's see how much... 4-tap from there. The recoil is atrocious, as you can see. I'm not controlling it, but if I control it... Reloading. If I control it, it's like... Uh, it's yeah, it's really bad. So I don't know if anybody really wants to use that. But the best part about this gun is like there's like there's like no the hip fire is like right. Wait, how did you get, sir? All right, that's pretty far. So if I if so if I'm like looking here and I I try to go like that, that's like impossible. But if you like tap fire, it's not bad. I'm gonna let you guys heal. So this guy, three taps, still pretty good. But from here, all right. If I'm able to like quick quickly tap them. Three tap is pretty good. If you single fire, it's that's like a four tap almost. Let's see if he heals up first real quick. All right, retrues is gonna. So I'm pretty far. Still four tap. I don't know how that last one did him. Yeah. So tap fire could be good for this. The range is not bad. What we're gonna be testing is the BK, uh, the ICR. But we're gonna do the BK first. I have main on my team. Who's gonna give me? But actually, okay. Before that, let me show you guys the HBR and the KN, because that's the two guns I think is gonna be very similar. That people might debate having because people will have a free HBR coming soon and they already have a free KN. So let me go find where they're spawning. All right, I see the. All right, don't move, don't move, main. All right, so as you can see, the rate of fire of this gun. Don't move, don't move. All right, gamer, don't kill them. All right, so to kill him, it's probably a four tap. All right, so I'm gonna have Ulysses here if I. So it's pretty fast. All right, so I'm gonna kill myself real quick. So I'll show you guys like a side by side comparison a little bit of the two guns that I personally think are going to be very close to each other. All right, so main is right next to me. So one, two, three, four, still four tap. Oh, I didn't freaking bot. I didn't, I didn't actually kill myself. I have to kill myself again. So if we look at, first of all, let's just look at the recoil afterwards, but let's just check here. All right, so let me go find where the enemy went. I think he's right next to me. I heard footsteps. All right, cool. All right, perfect. So. One, two, three, four. Four taps still, which is fine. But here's the difference. It shoots really fast. So that was definitely faster than the HBR. Now let's just check the recoil. 
Rico is very similar. I'm not going to touch it. And it does like the S shape. But it does balance out a little bit easier on the end side. So like, you guys can see it and boop, boop, boop. Similar recoil. So that's why like the first, like I mentioned, the first few shots, not much recoil. Right? Not much recoil. Not much recoil. But then once you get to end, that's very similar to HPR. So, so for example, if I want to shoot like Ulysses right here, I'm going to go all the way on top and show you guys like you can pretty much laser him from like that medium, that long range. All right. So actually, let's see here, right? Like basically didn't miss a shot there. I didn't kill him, but like, for example, like, oh, this guy here, dead, 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 right? So we're going to kill myself. We're going to switch loadout. It's just the two guns. I think that are going to be really similarly used. And I think the HBR got nerfed enough to that it feels different because look, look at this very similar when it comes to recoil except it goes way higher than the h than the uh, kn so I, I i personally think maybe the can will be used more than the hbr because of that small nerf it's still lasers we're actually gonna go back on top just to compare to because this is a really supposed to be a really good medium to long range kind of gun let me just shoot this guy here it's definitely controllable though which is good but it doesn't kill as fast as the HP, uh, the, the, the KN. See how far he is? Okay, that's the furthest he is. Yeah, so I, I still think the KN is a little bit better. You can definitely control the recoil. So if I control the recoil, you can still handle it. But after those first few shots, it's kind of hard to hit those people. Especially if they're moving. Alright, so this is the BK with the uh, regular sight shooting from far. Two, three, four, five, six. Six shots to get that. Uh, someone, Ulysses, go back to that corner. All right. Six shots. Let's check this one. I do have a red dot on this one. I don't, I don't move. Don't move. I'm just doing regular shots. Okay. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Still about the same. All right. Um, re-choose. Move around. I'm gonna try to kill you with this regular gun. All right. So they didn't actually buff the recoil from what I can tell. Still looks like it's the same. Yeah, the recoil is still pretty, like, it's about the same, right? So if you take a look at the recoil without controlling it, it does have pretty good damage. Six shots. We're going to change guns now. So it has a range buff. So it's not moving. You can laser people, which is pretty good. It's not bad. It's not bad. We're going to actually move up closer. Just compare how much damage it does. Ow. All right. So stay right there. Stay right there. Retrues. Okay, one, two, three, four. Four tap, that's not bad. That's actually pretty good. It's like the same as a KN. All right. Hip fire is pretty huge, honestly. The main reason you really would want to use this gun over like the other gun is the 43 mag that you would get with extended compared to the 38. So it's an extra few. So like if you're trying to win, shoot a fight, that actually happened yesterday when I was playing against Jokesta. And he ran a bullet before I ran a bullet, and I was able to kill him because of it. Right? The hip fire is not great. Let's be honest. The hip fire is not great. But decent rate of fire. It's actually good damage. Um, it was actually pretty pretty popular. And they increased, I guess it was the recoil control. It's not bad, actually. The recoil is not bad. The BK, yeah. The BK is nice. I I, I like it. I've been using it. I, I don't know if it's going to be the... Yeah, it's actually pretty... Like, if we compare it to the other gun that I just tested, so obviously the can has the, the slightly faster rate of fire. This one's recoil is... Um... I don't know. It has a pretty... I'm not even aiming. But if you can control it, it does laser. The damage... That was like a four shot. ICR, okay? This is the gun that I, I am actually super excited to show you guys. Because the ICR itself um, got a buff, and it seems to get buffs every time. So they they, they increase the quick the, the the scope and speed, which is as you can see, I have a red dot, and this is actually really fast. But this is the important part. Look at this, okay? I'm I'm not gonna hold the recoil. It basically doesn't have much recoil. I don't know if you guys see that. I do have a stock, but I'm no recoil. If it does, it's like it just goes up. So like, watch. I'm gonna go from far, and I'm gonna be able to probably laser. So easy to control, very easy. Now the, the downside again is the damage. So uh, stay, 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 stay there, man. Watch. Uh, it should be a five tap to kill it close. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. 
That's a downside. But I'm actually excited to see from on top. So just go back to that corner. If I can kill in like five from f up here, that's still pretty good though. All right, so uh, stay there. One, two, three, four, five, six. If six is not bad. Six and the, the BK was pretty much very similar to that. So let me see if I can like laser someone here. So like this guy's running away. I'm gonna go like, right? Pretty, pretty good being able to trace that. The recoil is pretty low. So like if you're like a, a newer player and you're not really good at the recoil, this might be a good gun. Uh, let me see. Uh, all right, just uh, pretend you're running down the main. Pretend you're like running down. So, yeah, just running down. So we're seeing main running down. I see him, I'm like, oh, let me laser him. Look at that, lasers from up here. Like just look at, it doesn't have a great headshot ratio, I believe. But I'm gonna go see if I can kill Retrus again. Let me just ah. Uh, all right, yeah, Retrus, move left, right. Like that is just lasers. This gun is, I don't know. Like it just before the recoil was really wonky, but right now it just feels like such a good recoil pattern. So yeah, update's pretty good for some guns. Um, under my predictions, like the ULs pretty insane. The biggest W of this patch. We talk about the biggest Ws and the biggest Ls, obviously. Uh, biggest W, um, the ICR got buffed, which is nice. It actually pre feels pretty decent. We also have the UL that got buffed. That feels pretty good. The MSMC got buffed. I didn't try it because I really don't use the MSMC, but it does. So I, I got to test it a lot, a little bit. I didn't test it on this video, but if you are an MSMC player, you'll notice that it's a, it's a little bit better and it'll help you a lot. If you're not an MSMC player, you try it. It's going to feel basically the same because it's like a high, I guess skill gap kind of gun, which is fine. The S36 still seems pretty trash. The recoil is ridiculously bad. I've tried it. Biggest L, I think it's the HBR. The HBR feels a little bit worse to the point where I don't think I would use it instead of the KN because they're very similar. The MSMC does feel better, yes. It's a slight, slight W. Um, L, Man Award doesn't really feel better. It just feels like the same thing, so. I don't see it's gonna be moving up in the meta. I can see the um, the S36 took an L. And what else was nerfed? I feel like something else got nerfed and I just didn't realize. Oh, Agile apparently got nerfed, but I didn't actually test it. Oh yeah, Custom Games got got a fat L. And and Rank got a fat L because of RC car. RC car is gonna be really annoying because people actually move up to the RC car to try to shoot it and they're just gonna get shocked again. That's just what I got from this update from playing and testing it on the stream. Obviously we're gonna see during rank. I'm gonna probably do like a, a top five. I've never done a top five gun videos. I'll probably do like a best rank guns that you can play for noobs. Uh, obviously the PDW is gonna be one of them, RUS. That's something I'll be posting in the future. But for now, this is what we are. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys basically agree with what I saw. If there's any buffs or nerf you guys saw. Uh, but I'm just very disappointed that we don't have free-for-all games. I just kind of it kind of hurts considering that's what I do a lot is custom games and the fact that I won't be able to play uh, Kind of frustrates me a bit, but whatever it'll be like that sometimes I guess a lot of people don't actually use the game mode, but I just don't know why they take it out It doesn't affect anyone, but whatever. Um, yeah, make sure to like share and subscribe if you haven't yet and uh, I'll see you guys next time